G'day YouTube. So, some nice people at banggood.com sent me a uh, another kind of 18650 or all lipo battery charger. It's an SQ4 Plus. The box looks a lot like them Nightcore boxes. Have you ever seen a Nightcore one? It looks very much like that. They're up, up to 2000 milliamp charging in a single slot. It's actually each of the outside slots. 500 to 2000 selectable. Lithium ion, lithium ion polymer. Life P04. Nomad and NICAD battery. So it'll charge anything that will go in the slot essentially. USB charge so you can use it as a power bank. So you put a couple of cells in there and then use it to charge your phone. Whatever. Yeah, LCD screen displaying full progress. It's a cool looking little thing. in the box. Okay, so you get power brick, which is 12 volts at 5 amps. That's cool. Positive centered. We got an instruction manual. Input 12 volts, 3 amps. Cool, power bricks oversized, that's a win. Triple A's, double A's, four A's, never seen them. C's, sub C's and D's, and everything from 10 440 to 32 650. That's a damn big battery. Get your input, and you got a 2.1 uh, amp, 5 volt output. A lot more space between the cell bays to handle the big, big batteries, which we'll see. That may be a big plus over the. Uh, 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 no. American cord. What's his adapter made to take? 110 to 220. You know what we've got to do with this cord, then, don't you? They didn't send me an adapter. All right. Maybe when you guys buy one, uh, oh, it's a pretty disgusting cord. Maybe when you guys buy one, it'll actually be uh, like region flag, so they'll know where to send, what what kind of cord to send. But uh, hot tip for the young players. You can make them fit in an Australian socket. I'll come back, we'll get this sorted, get it plugged in, we'll test her out. Alright, so I wanted to show you what it does the first time we plug it in. This cord's got a really small cable on it. It's fairly flexible. Plug the beast in for the first time. Oh wow, cool screen. So it doesn't do anything with no cell in there. Let's get a cell oil. Not a INR 18650-20R Samsung cell. Let's drop it in there. What's it say? It says 4.06 volts. Give me a milliohm. Okay, so we can charge the change the charge rate. It's automatically picked up its lithium ion, which is cool. It's going to tell me the milliamp out that it puts into it up here, I'm assuming. I think that's what we're doing. Just need to check and see what kind of modes we've got. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, how come it's English? English! Discharge operation. No. It's discharges just to run a USB device. Okay, so it's just a charger. Selectable charging currents. Discharge operation. Yep. No, so it's just a charger. Therefore, this will be very handy because one thing it does have. I think it's really cool is zero volt start 
so it can actually start charging a dead flat and then 650 so before it well, when it measures the voltage it actually gives you an internal resistance test I changed that one on the outside there to 2 amps that's cool so the outside couple can do 2 amps so inside 2 can only do um, 1 amp each and the outside 2 can do 2 amps so all of those cells are pretty much charged but that is cool see I got the wrong end of the stick I thought it might have been a charger discharger but it's not it's just a charger with the ability to be used as a power bank and the ability to charge 4A to D size knock out an equimeter hydride so it's just a really smart multi charger so we'll do another video on testing out just the way it way it works and how to change its modes but it's quite simple in the way that you um, that's just basically a amperage change so you can just change the current that actually outputs this is going to come in real handy right next to the opus 3100 that uh, Banggood also sent me I'll link both of these in the description for you but this will be really handy right next to the opus so that I can make sure that the cells that go into the opus are charged which gets rid of an entire step in the process because if you put a 0.8 volt cell in the opus it's got to charge that all the way up to 4.2 and discharge it all the way back down to zero well down to its cutoff which is 3.1 or whatever and it's got to charge all the way back up to 4.2 before it comes up and says full so one the opus is doing tons of work and two it's wasting my time i might be able to go from getting two batches of cells in the opus done a day to getting three done a day just by feeding it cells that are pre-charged and ready to rumble this will also give me an indication because we've got our milliamp hours up here if I chuck a dead flat battery in there that's 3 volts and it charges up and says it's got 2000 milliamps I know a charge test isn't a perfect indicator of its actual capacity but it does still give you a an idea of its range if it comes up and says you put 6 amps in it and the cell's hot, the cell's obviously rubbish if it comes up and says that it's full but it's got 40 milliamps in it you know that it's a defective cell so that's quite cool uh, as I said, outside two bays can charge faster than the inside two. Just probably more room for cooling, I'm not sure. Maybe they just picked the outside two. But uh, being able to charge these cells at two amps is pretty cool. Because that's charging at one C for these amps. The, for these cells. So charging these at one C is a good idea. Because um, when they go into service, they're going to get worked fairly hard. And these have been worked fairly hard all their life because they're power tool batteries. So they're kind of made for it. They're not like a laptop cell that may not be able to handle that kind of thing so we'll come back shortly once one of these is complete and see what it does when it's complete and then uh, I'll make another video about uh, the operation and how you can use it as a USB bank thanks for watching hopefully the audio is better guys I just bought an a, a, uh, external microphone um, should pick up things a bit better it's a Rode one see so how we go thanks for watching I'll come back shortly All right, so once you get your uh, battery charged, it flashes between full and the milliamp hours at the top left-hand corner there, and tells you that she's done. Tells you how long it took, tells you how many milliamp hours are pushed into it. Quite a handy device. Great for sorting through your cells so that you can get them ready for the discharger. Um, I've got this discharging, I've got the um, Opus doing most of the discharging. So if you'd like one of these awesome chargers for yourself, this one was provided to me from uh, banggood.com for the uh, purpose of video review. There'll be a uh, link in the top of the video description for this, as well as the Opus 3100, so that you can uh, compare the two for yourself. The review for the, the op Opus is also in the video description. You'll be able to find that down there. Once these are charged, it comes up full. There's only one left to go, and he's nearly done. But, uh, yeah, awesome little thing. Great for recovering your cells, getting them ready to go before you put them into your battery charger. Not battery discharger, sorry. Um, 
I actually also have independent battery dischargers like the uh, ZB23 boards or ZB13 boards, whatever they are. Someone will correct me. Um, so I'll be able to use them to get the uh, discharge and process sped up a little bit. I've got a few of these cells to get sorted through, so we uh, need every bit of time we can to get that done faster. Thanks heaps for watching. Thanks to banggood.com. And um, yeah, links to everything's in the video description. Subscribe buttons are over there as always. More videos over here like normal. Thank you very much for watching guys. Catch you on the next video.